So tonight I'm going to paint a moody seascape, you know, sky, in a way that I haven't done, uh, I think, on this YouTube channel yet. So we'll see how that goes. There's going to be quite a few layers, so it's not going to be the shortest video in the world. And um, I'm going to paint it in this orientation because this is uh, an orientation that I have painted a lot in the past. I haven't so much on YouTube because it's not a great orientation for the uh, screen, but it's a great orientation. I used to sell a lot of these in the galleries because, and still do online in, in, on other platforms, because I think in people's houses, this matted up and then framed, which would be about the size of this board here, um, ends up being a great, uh, great dimensions for a lot of spaces in a house. Like a lot of time there's a thin wall and then these fit very nicely in those spaces, top of a stairway or, you know, just a, there's often just a single wall somewhere where these go and, and not many people do paint in this orientation. So, you know, portrait but very very long and um so it's it's, it's a good way to go you should uh you should try it and you've just got to make sure when you're using paper i might have mentioned this before but you can see here this is the imprint when they've made it, it says bfk reeves it says france uh it has an f there and it has a, like an infinity sign here so i have to make sure that that is not um facing up and i normally put it down the bottom as well because i just think it's just less likely to be an issue. So I always put it on the back and I put it generally down the bottom. So you've always got to be aware of that. So I've just put this uh, box underneath the, the, the board so that it's at about a, I don't know, 15 degree angle or something like that. Just going to wet the whole thing. start with cools instead of warms. I know that might not make a lot of sense but uh All right, so I'm just gonna dry this now. So what you guys have just missed then is probably about 10 minutes of using the hairdryer full on to get it really flat. So I want this to be super dry because I'm gonna be doing another layer then another layer. So it's quite a few layers, so it's a fair bit of drying time that you're not seeing um, in between each layer. So now I need to wet it and I wanna wet it with nice, see this water here is all Cloudy, I don't want to use that, so I'll tip that out and I'll get some fresh water. So I'm just going to wet this uh, this way just for a second. It's just easier for me to do it that way. So I'm just going to do that with a nice wide egg brush. I'll just get in there and just wet that. Alright. I've disturbed it a bit. I probably put the brush over it one too many times in, and you can see that. That's okay. The other way I could have wet it is just pour water over the top, and I do that sometimes. I'll demonstrate that some other time. So I'm, that was cobalt blue. That was a mix of cobalt blue and light red, as was that, and a bit of cobalt blue there. And now I'm coming in with some yellow ochre over the top, okay. And what I don't want to do is 
I want to put down the yellow ochre into the um, the white spaces first before I start doing much else. Um, because if I start painting up here with yellow ochre, it'll pick up a bit of that blue and then I'll start laying it down elsewhere, which is fine unless I want uh, pure yellow. So this is where I can just start to build up some layers. I'll get some cerulean blue here. So I've got that mix of cobalt blue, light red there. I'm just trying to darken some dark areas. turquoise I'm going to lay this down for a second flat because I don't want it to run too much. I might put something small underneath but not too... I don't want it to quite do that. Alright, I'm going to dry this again. Alright, so, so I've dried it completely flat now and now I'm going to, to wet it all over again. Um, I'm kind of considering just doing the old pour method. You guys won't be able to see that. So I'll do that another time. I'll, uh, I do like the pour method because, and I can't do it in here in the studio, I do it out on the driveway, but um, because you're just tipping water and it's just pouring all over the top uh, and then it's wetting the whole page thoroughly and it will not disturb that at all. So that's a, a beautiful way of doing it. So I normally just get a full one of these and then just pour it straight over the top and it does a beautiful job. going to spray a bit of this off so hopefully you guys can see this oh, I'm just going to spray this off here make a light 
Thank you a lot. Cobalt blue light red mix. We'll just bring it down here. Starting to get a little bit of harmony there now. Right, I think I'm happy with some of those colour harmonies actually. And what I've noticed as well actually is that when I watch these videos back, the colours on the screen are not exactly what I see and I suppose that's probably pretty normal. And I suppose I'm not an expert at colour correcting.
Alright, I'm just going to dry this. Alright, so I'm just going to spray some of this out here and then we'll work out if I'm going to do something else after that. I'm actually going to tilt it even more than that. Hopefully you guys can see a bit. But... That was just... Uh... Uh, that was just yellow ochre and then raw umber. So I think I'm just going to do one last uh, layer. I know this is a fairly lengthy process, but um, I think I just need to bring this all together here and then I'll lift out some lights here and then I think I'll be done. So instead of waiting at this time, I'm just going to lay in uh, some pigment with a brush with a fair bit of water on it. So I uh, will just lay this in and then what I'll do is I'll come along with a brush with uh, just pure water and I'll just feather that as I go so no need to kind of wet it
one of the disadvantages of not wetting it, you can start to have some um, hard lines if you're not careful. Or start to lift the paint out if you start trying to go back over it too much. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's potatoes. Just trying to bring a little bit of cohesion to this. Right, I'm just going to dry this. All right. So. I'm going to give this painting some lights uh, because I think it's it, that's what it's kind of lacking.
So I've just got a mount board to put around this and that helps me to see if uh, it's finished or not. And, and, I, and I really like this actually. I think this is finished. So, um, so thanks for joining me. I know this was a very long process, but this is actually the style that I really love to paint in. Lots of layers and mood and, and that sort of thing. So thanks for staying with me through this process. And uh, if you like these videos, then please press like. And if you want to subscribe and see the videos I produce sometimes once, twice or three times a week, then uh, press subscribe. And uh, thanks very much for my uh, subscribers that I've got already. I really appreciate it. And it's really... I'm really enjoying the interaction and, and us just chatting about stuff and actually I get help too. It's really fantastic. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next episode. Good night.